Hey everybody, it's Kareem from Big Belladonna Fashion and I'm here with another review today. I decided I wanted to do a review on some beauty products that I've been using over the last month. I do not spend a whole lot on beauty products. You can call me cheap, you can call me frugal, whatever you want to call me. I have bought in the past very expensive skincare and makeup products but I always tend to go back to what I can find at my local drugstore. And thankfully, thus far, it has not caused any major breakouts or anything that would make me stop buying what I can readily afford and get my hands on. <coughs> the first thing I tried was this Nivea in shower body lotion. Now I'll pause for a second to say, I know in the last 30 days, there's been this uproar with Nivea and how they did their, one of their marketing campaigns. Listen, I'm not gonna go there. I don't tend to bar boycott every particular company or product or things of the nature of people who don't agree with me because I'd be butt naked, bald, hungry, out on the street, you know, I just would be protesting all day long. This is not the review or not the video where I'm going to talk about what Nivea did and did not do wrong. But I will tell you that this was a product of me seeing the commercial and me thinking, you know what? Part of the shower process is that long moisturization process after. And if I can cut that down, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that. So I tried this lotion. Yes, I was a bit skeptical, but I tried it the first time and I was sold. I was like, winner, winner veggie dinner because I don't eat chicken anymore. So anyway, <laughs> I was sold on this. I was totally sold on this. I've got my whole family on it. I am big on this. It actually has replaced lotion for me in respect of lotioning after the shower. So I recommend this. Big ups, Nivea. Now do better. <laughs> the next product I tried was actually a, a throwback. I decided to go back to Queen Helene. As you can see here, I have two of them. You can find this at your local beauty supply store or any kind of Walmart, Walgreens, things of that nature. I got the Mint Julep Mask, deeply cleans and refreshes. And then the Mud Pack Mask, which is toxin relief, revitalizes and detoxifies. So I thought these were great because they did two different things. And so I tried the Mint Mask first. I really liked it. It did what it said it was going to do, and I loved my skin afterwards. Then I tried the Mud Mask a little later on. Um, this is, again, for revitalization and detoxification, anti-aging, okay? Who doesn't want that, right? So I love this as well. I thought it made my skin feel nice. I will say I kind of was a little bit more impressed with how my skin looked immediately after using this. So maybe this takes a little bit more time to, for you to get used to what your skin's gonna look like. And I felt like I had a more immediate result with this, but either way, Miss Queen Helene is all right with me. Now, I am not a makeup junkie in any shape for my fashion, but I was looking for a new foundation because I'm almost out of the one I'm using. So I tried Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. The mousse part is the thing that I like the best because it feels like butter going on, or mousse as it were. It's so soft going on. It's just so cool because I kind of just like putting it on because of how it feels going on my skin. But anyway, I like it a lot. Um, I, it's definitely going to stay in my collection of foundations. And again, affordable, readily available. Those are two things that are really important with me with beauty products. I have recently started to just basically do my own nail, nail care at home after being a uh, you know, faithful salon visitor. I decided at the beginning of this year, I was going to take my nails into my own hands. I am back on the Press On Nail Kick. I got a lot over the last uh, month or so. I mean, I tried a lot of them, but I decided that I'm gonna do a whole nail review video. So I'm just gonna save that until later, give you a full review of each of the nail products. The last thing I wanna review is actually not a new product, but it's just a throwback. Witch Hazel. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. I love it. I have noticed that using this as a cleanser and toner is really, really great for my skin. You know, I really don't get the breakouts as much. I mean, I get them, certain time of month, you know. I get them, um, but it really just does a great number. I use it morning and night after I cleanse my face and 
I love it. I mean, there's really nothing that bad I can say about Witch Hazel. I get this at my local Walmart and I love it. Skincare and beauty products are very, very individualized. If your body doesn't respond to it, stop using it. If you have a good response to this, these products, you know, continue to use them after you try them out, you know, just like me. I throw some away if they don't work for me and I keep them coming back if they do work for me and my family. So that's it for this review. Stay tuned for the nail review and a review on this hair. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.